वेलकम टू दिस सेशन वी आर डिस्कसिंग सोशल स्टडीज क्लास थ्री क्लास फोर इंडिया पोलिटिकल फीचर्स इन इंडिया पोलिटिकल फीचर्स वी विल लुक एट द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया वी विल लुक एट हाउ इंडिया हैज बीन डिवाइडेड पोलिटिकली इंडिया कंसिस ऑफ ट्वेंटी नाइन स्टेट्स एंड सेवन यूनियन टेरिटरीज इंडिया इज गवर्न बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट एंड द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट वाई इज इट सो India is a very large country. There are quite a few states which are larger than countries like Bhutan and Bangladesh. India is the second most populous country in the world. India is the seventh largest by area in the world. India is the seventh largest in area and second most populous country in the world. There are diverse types of people with different culture, different languages, different customs. so with such a large country and with a diverse population it is not possible to have a single government so the government of india is divided into a central government which takes care of the whole of india and a state government which takes care of the interests of the various states government is a group of people who decide how a country will function government is a group of people who decide how a country will function india got its independence in 1947 and from there upon India is a democracy and the people elect the government. India got its independence in 1947 and their own words India being a democracy people elect their own government. People choose their own government and government decides how the country will function. The government takes care of the needs and welfare and security of the people. government takes care of the needs and welfare and security of the people and the government decides how the country will function the government is elected by the people of the country the central government works from new delhi the central government has their principal offices in new delhi the president the prime minister the vice president are the top officials of the central government parliament is the main office of the central government where the elected members of the parliament work from lok sabha and rajya sabha are the two houses of the parliament the president operates from rashtrapati bhavan the state government states have their own capitals there they have the raj bhavan from there the governor works who is the head of the state the chief minister works from the secretariat the elected members of the state legislature work from the legislative assembly other than legislative assembly some larger states have legislative council so the officials of the state government are the governor chief minister the officials of the central government are the president the vice president and the prime minister assisted by the council of ministers the country is divided into 29 states and seven union territories the lakshadweep the andaman nicobar islands the daban diu the nagar haveli pondicherry chandigarh and new delhi are the union territories new delhi is a capital of new delhi new delhi is also a capital of india chandigarh is the capital of chandigarh and chandigarh is also a capital of punjab and haryana these are the specialities puducherry the name has been changed from the old name pondicherry so this is a new name old name So the union territories are Andaman Nicobar Islands, Dadra Nagar Haveli, Lakshadweep Islands, National Capital Region of Delhi, Chandigarh, Daman and Diu, and Pondicherry. These are the union territories. The states are from Kashmir to Kerala and Gujarat to Arunachal. We have 29 states. Capital of Kerala is Trivandrum. Capital of Tamil Nadu is Chennai. Capital of Karnataka is Bangalore. Capital of Andhra Pradesh is Amravati being built. Capital of Telangana is Hyderabad. Telangana was recently founded by dividing Andhra Pradesh. Capital of Odisha is Bhubaneswar. Capital of Chhattisgarh is Raipur. Capital of Madhya Pradesh is Bhopal. Capital of Maharashtra is Mumbai. Capital of Gujarat is Gandhinagar. Capital of Rajasthan is Jaipur. Capital of Uttar Pradesh is Lucknow. Capital of Bihar is Patna. Capital of Jharkhand is Ranchi. Capital of West Bengal is Kolkata. Capital of Haryana and capital of Punjab is Chandigarh. Capital of Uttarakhand is Dehradun. This was earlier called Uttaranchal and was formed by cutting a portion of the Uttar Pradesh, a larger state. Capital of Himachal Pradesh is Shimla, and Srinagar is the summer capital, and Jammu is the winter capital of Jammu and Kashmir. And then we have the seven northeastern states and Sikkim. 
Our neighbors are Pakistan, Nepal, China, Bhutan, Bangladesh and at the south we have Sri Lanka, the island country as our neighbors. So this is the political features of the seventh largest country by area and second most populous country in the world. It has a diverse culture and country India has varied landforms. The government looks after and protects the people. Government of India is elected by the people. Group of people who decide how the country will function is the government. Government of India is selected by the people and the group of people who decide how the country will function is called the government. Government looks after the needs, welfare and security of the citizens. Government looks after the needs, welfare and security of the citizens. Government of India is divided into state and central government. Central government works from Delhi and takes care of the progress and welfare of the whole country. Progress and welfare of the whole country. President operates from Rashtrapati Bhavan. Prime Minister runs the country assisted by Council of Ministers. Parliament consists of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. State government. Each state government has its own capital. State has a capital and at the capital the state government functions. The governor works from the Rajabam and the chief minister works from the secretariat. Legislative assembly is the office where the elected members of the legislature of the state work from. At the district level we have corporations, municipalities, town panchayat, grama panchayat etc. as a local administration. Union territories. Some union territories like Delhi and Pondicherry have statehood status and so they have their own legislative assembly. Some union territory like Chandigarh and Adhaman Nicobar Islands are governed by the central government from Delhi. Lieutenant governor is the head of the union territory and larger union territory also have their own capitals like Port Blair or Kavaranti. So to recap, government of India is divided into central and state. After independence, the people of India elect their own government. Parliament consists of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. The central government, the main officials are Prime Minister, President and Vice President. There are seven union territories. Union territories run by the left hand governor. There are 29 states. Each has their own capital. Head of the state is a governor. Chief Minister runs the government. Legislative Assembly and Legislative Council are the main officers of the state legislature. Largest and smallest. The largest union territory by population is Delhi. Largest union territory by population is Delhi. Largest union territory by area is Andaman Nicobar Islands. By area, Andaman Nicobar Islands is largest. By population, Delhi is largest. Smallest. Lakshadweep is smallest by population. Lakshadweep is smallest in area. Lakshadweep is smallest in population and area. Largest state is Uttar Pradesh. The largest state in, is Uttar Pradesh in population. And Rajasthan is the largest in area. Largest state is Uttar Pradesh in population. Largest in, by area is Rajasthan. Goa is the largest state in area and smallest state. Goa is the smallest state and Sikkim is the smallest state in population. Sikkim is the least populated state and Goa is the smallest in area. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to get more updates on similar subjects.